Hello, here's another phrasal verb lesson for you. And uh, today we're going to look at the expression to play up. Play up, okay? Now last time we had play down, this time it's play up. So let's have a look here at OxfordDictionaries.com. This is the Oxford Dictionary definition for play up here. And let's have a little look. So, um, according to Oxford Dictionaries, this is mainly a British expression. I think they use it in the United States as well, as we will see in a moment, but certainly a phrase that is quite often used in British English. And uh, we're going to look at about four definitions of play up in this episode. All right. So first of all, um, we have um, the definition that it's an informal expression, which means uh, when a child misbehaves, okay, uh, or when children misbehave. Um, and uh, there's an example here that says, I hadn't had much sleep, the kids had been playing up. Okay, so you can imagine the situation. Uh, it's probably a parent who is very exhausted or was very exhausted because the kids had been playing up all night. Maybe, you know, the kids had been uh, misbehaving, they'd been making noise, they'd been refusing to go to sleep, uh, they'd been fighting each other in the bedroom, you know, the usual things that kids do that might keep you awake at night when they refuse to sleep. Um, another example could be a teacher, let's say, a teacher who's got a class full of primary school kids and the teacher has a particularly bad day because the kids keep playing up. And the teacher comes home and the, and the teacher's like, oh God, it was what a nightmare, it was a horrible day. And uh, the, the friend says, oh, what happened? And the teacher says, Oh, it was just a nightmare. The kids were just playing up all morning. Okay. A parent might say to a child, um, so your grandparents are coming around this weekend. So I want you to be on your best behavior. Don't play up again like you did last weekend. Okay. So that's the play up, meaning to misbehave. Now, another expression is when, another meaning is when um, something fails to function properly or when something doesn't work properly, especially electrical items. Like you might say that about your phone, for example. It's like there's something wrong with my phone. Uh, the battery keeps playing up. Like I've charged it fully yesterday. I charged it all night and I've only used it for a couple of hours and it's all almost dead. So I think that the battery's playing up. I think I need to get it fixed or changed. Okay, so the battery's been playing up, for example. It's not true, it's working okay. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, you, know, you could say, I think I might need to take these headphones back because the, they've been playing up, like there's something wrong with the connection, all right? So when children misbehave, uh, when electrical items don't work properly. Also, you can use the expression to talk about parts of your body if uh, parts of your body are causing you pain or discomfort. So typically you'd say things like, oh, my back's been playing up recently. My back's been playing up again in this cold weather, for example. And that just means that, you know, maybe you've been experiencing some pain, um, some sort of pain that you sometimes have. Um, here on OxfordDictionaries.com, we have this example. And this could be something said by a football player after a game when an interviewer says to the football player, so how's your injury? How's your hamstring injury? Was it playing up during the game? And the, and the player says, well, the hamstring wasn't too bad, but my knee was playing up a little bit, meaning that uh, the hamstring was OK, but uh, his knee was causing him problems. Uh, his knee was hurting a little bit. So my knee was playing up a little bit. So that's three things. The fourth thing is to make something seem bigger, to exaggerate something. Okay. Um, and um, so if we have a look here on Google, this is a uh, definition of play up in inverted commas in Google News, the news search on Google. And uh, let's have a look at this story. So if I click that, then I end up here. And this is on um, alternet.org. This is a story about uh, the American um, presidential election uh, situation. And this headline says, as New York media play up Bernie Hillary fights, Democrats need to toughen up. So the, so the story seems to be that the New York media have been um, exaggerating 
um, conflict between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. And this has been worrying the Democrats. So the Democrats are worried about that because they, they're concerned that uh, it's going to make the Democrats look bad uh, in the future. So uh, the New York media have been playing up fights between Bernie and Hillary. And apparently the, they don't actually disagree with each other that much. It's just that the newspapers uh, have been playing up the conflict. OK, that's basically it. I just want to remind you to go to teacherloop.co.uk. Uh, in fact, if you go to whoops, if you go to teacherloop.co.uk forward slash pv, um, teacherloop.co.uk forward slash pv, and you'll end up on the home page for a phrasal verb a day. There it is. And uh, so this is my phrasal verb podcast, and there are if you check out the archive there, there are over 130 audio episodes of a phrasal verb a day. In each one, I teach you a different phrasal verb. Most, Almost all of them are audio. I do a few videos as well. And there are transcripts available for them too. The whole podcast is available on iTunes, and it's called A Phrasal Verb A Day. Okay, so that's the end of this one. I'll speak to you again soon in some format. But for now, goodbye. <laughs>